Hey everybody, welcome back to Scoop Troop Ice Cream Reviews. I'm CJ, this is... Nora, Charlie, Gabe. And uh, as usual, we are reviewing some ice cream today, so you don't have to if there's something that maybe you want to check out. So today we have some more, eh, we're going to call them semi-local um, ice cream. These come from a little place called the Homestead Creamery. Uh, so they are in a thing Burnt called Chimney. Burnt Chimney, Virginia, which is a map showed three hours north of us near Roanoke, Virginia. Um, so this thing, I've, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen ice cream come in a quart. It's not a half gallon like the big ones at the oh, store. It's not a, you know, pint like the small ones. This is a, this is a, this is a quart. Um, so this one uh, is peanut butter. Okay, <laughs> we're doing two. We're doing two of these today. So this is peanut butter. Um, again, there's from again Burnt Chimney, Virginia, but it's supposed to be kind of that I don't know, like more homemade style ice cream. Um, We've never had it before. This, these are actually, uh, we found this at a local grocery store near us called Lee's Fresh Market, right down in Benson, North Carolina, right down the road. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of all they do is locally grown and stuff, uh, stuff like that. So let's give it a shot. Let's see, we're gonna pop it open. And Homestead Creamery like uses A2A2 milk, which is supposed to be a premium milk. Premium milk. It right. says, we gently process it with minimal pasteurization to serve as the base of our utterly delicious dairy. <laughs> Lovely. I want to have the first scoop. So here it is. Looks like just light peanut butter. Nothing crazy. It's not peanut butter swirls. This is peanut butter ice cream. So Ignore the couple scoops off the top. Mom couldn't help herself. And if you haven't noticed yet. Today, new seats. Oh, yeah, we do. Spoons. We got new spoons. One of our viewers, uh, one of our top viewers, actually, one of them has made a guest appearance in uh, one of our videos before, sent us some specifically ice cream tasting spoons. You're a little dainty, which I guess is fine for me. I usually don't take a big scoop. Now, there's supposed to be something about the way they're shaped that makes it easier to scoop ice cream. I can't. <laughs> Gabe has issues with any shape spoon, though. So it smells like peanut butter. To me, it almost smells like a Reese's cup. Yeah, it should have chocolate in it. We need to use. <laughs> Does that smell really good? Oh. Um, in my opinion, yeah. there's not much yeah. To me, it tastes You're very crazy. peanut buttery. It's there very is, peanut buttery. There's a bunch. Maybe it's just that I like peanut butter so much. Hey, yeah, right. since mom, uh, since, uh, since this is really, really good. <laughs> it's creamy. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff added to it so it's just it's just peanut butter i mean it tastes like you're eating cold peanut butter like if you took peanut butter packet stuck it in the fridge and that's what it tastes like this would be really good. very good on some sugar cookies or with some of the chocolate magic shell yeah like the, the magic shell that hardens on top of a scoop i mean this is that's funny and the, the, you know the quart size again i've never seen i've never seen a quart apparently i don't get out much but you know it's one of those ones it's like you can sit down and just eat right out of it like they're doing or you could, uh, you know, you could scoop it out. Massive operation plastic spoons last review. Man, we didn't have plastic spoons. Yes, we did. We were on location. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we were on location. Yeah, I forgot. Sorry about that. Location? Um, yeah. You want to try some more, Nora? No? All right. She's not a huge peanut butter person to begin with. As we've seen in these reviews, too, she's not a huge ice cream person. I think she is. Like, she likes the idea of it. But she's not. She's, she's general, not a huge sweet kid. She's not in a general. big dessert kid. All right, so uh, Mama, how, uh, how about since you've tried it, you can you can rate it too. I will give it an eight point three. What do you give it, Gabe? Um, seven point three. Seven point three. Seven point three. Seven point three. Nora. I'll give it a two out of three. Charlie. Okay. New spoon. New six point six. <laughs> Um, I'm going to give it for what it is, being just a straight up, you know, peanut butter ice cream. I am going to give it a, uh, give it a seven and a half. So I'll say this, but it's really, really good. I mean, it's just a pure peanut butter ice cream. It is good. It reminds me a lot of back in the day, there used to be Butterfinger ice cream bars. It tastes yeah, like the ice cream that. from that. Um, so the second one we got is another one from Homestead. This is chocolate chip cookie dough i thought it was chocolate chocolate chip but it's just chocolate chip cookie dough so i'm assuming it means it's vanilla uh 
Okay. Which okay. pieces of chocolate chip cookie dip? It's easy. We're gonna find out. I, I go first, too. Yeah. Yep. I so there you go. Let me look at that. It even looks like they just took it, and squirted it in there. Um, I go first, too. So there's some pretty big <laughs> chunks of the cookie dough in there. I don't know if you can see that so see. before you even cut it I off. I expect we're about to look chocolatey. But nope. it looks more vanilla. Well, it's because vanilla it's with vanilla chocolate ice cream chip cookie, cookie dough. dough pieces in it. Oh, this is Mom good. did not pre-sample this one, so I will be <laughs> refraining There's from judgment. There's ice on top of this one. It's because it's cold. <laughs> Emphasize the ice of the ice cream. Yeah, you can't have it forever. Brain freeze? Yeah, I'm waiting for the brain freeze to hit. Thoughts? Not the best cookie dough ice cream I've had. Now, I, I used to be a cookie dough purist, so I'll be very interested to see exactly how this one. I'm trying to get a good piece of cookie dough. Here's one. Look, it's a good, but not the best cookie dough I've had. I want more. Now, for our co uh, carb conscious viewers, these actually have less carbs than a lot of the ones you can find in the freezer section. Like the peanut butter, you can have a whole half a cup for only 25. This is not terrible. I do have to watch my carbs. That's why you know, everyone knows the video. I don't need to take one or two very small spoonfuls. Um, so, it's not just vanilla ice cream. I'm not sure what it is. It's not just vanilla ice cream. I think it's more of a... You I wonder if it's like a, like a cookie dough ice cream. It's, it's, it's a shade different. I'm not really sure. Um, but it is really, really good. Pure vanilla right here. Uh, you might see a mom arm off camera. Yeah. Just to, there you go, you have to reach in. Yeah, there it is. No. <laughs> Give me it back. No. She wants to try it out. Again, this is this is really good. Now, yeah. it is a bit, it's a bit pricey for what it is. Um, I like it. It's good. It's very it, smooth. It's very, very smooth. And you can taste that it's different than your your Briars, your Hagen Dazs, your. Um, it doesn't have like a chemically aftertaste. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just, it's good. I don't know. Yeah, and it doesn't have like a crazy, you know, date on it. I mean, it'll be good till May of next year. Looks like mom's so, getting another sip of her scoop of uh, peanut, the peanut butter. butter. Well, yeah, that one's going to be hers. It's going to be a mom's special s section of the freezer, I'm sure, once this video is done. Um, yeah, very good. Uh, you guys want to give it a review? Uh -huh. Mom, you got you took a bite. Now you got to say something. Hmm. Of the cookie dough. That one, I'd give it 8.0. Mmm. 8.0, all right. I really liked it. Nora Rose? Um, I'll give it um, a two out of zero. Two out of zero. Pretty good. Grapes? Another 7.3. Another 7.3. So it's on par with that one. Still, but still good. Mm -hmm. Charlie? I didn't get enough, a good enough first bite, but this is an eight. Eight? Um, so again, I used to be, back in the day, a cookie dough purist, and I loved all, like anywhere I went, I had to have cookie dough as my ice cream choice. Um, and so I'm trying to get back into that mindset of where I was then when I was about their age up until my teen years. Um, and I think compared to all the cookie doughs I've had, this one's up there. It's, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. It is, to me, it is the best prepackaged cookie dough ice cream that you can just buy from the store that I've had. This is the best. Now, it is not the best pure cookie dough ice cream that I've had. Um, that probably will come in a later review. Hint, hint. Possibly a uh, another local place here in North Carolina. Starts with sunny, ends with skies. Um, that we would like to do at one point oh. or another. See, they get lit up when they heard that. <laughs> and we could do hundreds of videos on that place because it's got a bunch of flavors. But, again, at, for pre-packaged... Um, Cookie dough ice cream, that is fantastic. I'm going to go eight and a half. And I think it's because whatever type of the ice cream it is, it, I, can't, I can't say it's not vanilla, but I think it might be like a homemade vanilla. It's not like the French vanilla or like that really bright white, you know, it kind almost, of chemically vanilla. It almost tastes like it's got a touch of brown sugar in it. So yeah, it's got, yeah, there's something that's shade different. As you can tell, again, it's not white. It's kind of an off off-white it's kind of that yellow it almost looks like again like a homemade vanilla kind of thing um but again it's really good so i'm gonna go eight and a half so charlie at eight gabe seven three mom flat eight 
Do one with a two out of two out of zero, right? Really That's pretty good. I really want the cookie dough, but I'm trying to dodge it because I have a loose tooth and it really hurts when I accidentally chew on it. Wait, I keep chewing, it'll pop right out. I don't remember rating eight. Yeah, you did. You eight, did. You said eight. eight. You said you're solid little, eight. You've been a little focused on <laughs> the cream. <laughs> <laughs> um. So again. Two fantastic ice creams. We'll probably end up going down the road and getting some more of these because I can assure you that these will not last long um, in the house because these are really good. They also have some generic flavors. Uh, they have chocolate, they have strawberry, they got regular vanilla. They have, I think they have a cookies and cream. Butter pecan. Butter pecan. They had another. There was an orange pineapple. Orange pineapple. There was another pecan, but like a chocolate pecan. I think there? it was, yeah, chocolate pecan. Chocolate yeah. pecan. And what have you going? I don't know if their website shows what other flavors they got, but we'll go check it out. And we're going to start making these on uh, our regular rotation. So, yeah, please go check out Homestead Creamery. I don't, unfortunately, I don't, I can't tell you where to go get it. We got ours from Lee's Fresh Market in Benson. No idea where you, else you can get them. So, uh, if you're in the Virginia area, stop by and check it out. I bet they have a really nice facility and get all kinds of testing, uh, taste testing. So, yeah. So, again, two wonderful flavors. That peanut butter is something different. It is really good, though, if you're a peanut butter lover. And, again, the cookie dough is fantastic. The by far the best prepackaged cookie dough that I've had. Um, Ever? No. Yeah, like pre, yeah, pre, not, not again, not fresh hand dipped, but prepackaged from a store cookie dough. I have the ice cream list. They have vanilla, chocolate, peanut butter, double dark chocolate, mm -hmm. chocolate pecan, espresso chocolate chip chocolate chip cookie dough, cookies and cream, butter pecan, mint chocolate chip, cherry yes. vanilla, black raspberry, yes. strawberry, banana, peach, lemon crunch, orange pineapple, apple pie, blueberry pomegranate, and then seasonally they have pumpkin, peppermint, eggnog, and gingerbread. Ooh. That lemon crunch, that thing sounds like I might need to figure out a way to bring that home. The blueberry pomegranate sounds very good. Mm -hmm. They all sound fantastic. Truth be told, until you get that weird eggnog pumpkin area, we, we that might be a little funky. We have <laughs> ice cream in the freezer that sound, and sounds and looks really good. And we will try that on our next review. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for stopping by. You guys ready to say goodbye? Bye. 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 Please don't forget like, Bye. comment, share, subscribe. Bye. Tell your friends. If you got anything that you want us to do, uh, please leave a comment. Bye, guys.